Mushrooms are really incredible, incredible organisms. They are hardy and they're easy to grow. And um, really, there's, there should be no barrier for people in growing them for their own consumption. My name is Axel Adams. I am one of the garden directors for FH King. I guess I'm kind of the founder of the Mushroom Chats. I've always been kind of an armchair fungal enthusiast. First, first time I got really interested was I found a Amanita phalloids, which is like a death cap. It's one of the most poisonous mushrooms that's growing in our yard. I kind of piqued my interest. <laughs> My name is Tom Bryan, and um, I'm a regular member in the Fungus Interest Group. I don't remember exactly where it was, probably in um, high school biology or, or something. Uh, one of my teachers said that there's a hundred times as many microbes in and on your body as there are human cells, and that, that just kind of um, made me kind of overwhelmed with awe about the microbial world. I really saw a need at the F.H. King Garden for a more uh, expansive mushroom garden and I uh, thought it'd be cool to get an interest group. At the first meeting I was really surprised. I walked in like five minutes late uh, but it was this big conference room and almost every seat was filled and I was like this is, uh, is going to be something pretty big. It kind of provides a kind of a forum for people who maybe just like eating mushrooms or are interested in the biology of mushrooms or um, just like to grow things in their dorm rooms. We're just trying to keep it accessible to as many people as possible and make the different cultivation techniques easy and kind of on a home scale. So far the typical meeting consists of like starting out and kind of presenting a technique, going over the different steps, the different materials, and uh, then kind of troubleshooting. Share stories about um, how your fungus is going, um, compare and contrast with other people's um, uh, sharing different techniques. The whole growing process is a learning process. Each time we try a new technique, it's a, you kind of figure out what you did wrong and how you can do better next time and uh, discuss it. And then it's you, you get feedback from other people in the group on what they've tried. It's a really a kind of a communal learning experience. It's really fun. The message that I mainly get from the group um, is that there's uh, kind of a deep down um, enthusiasm in some people for fungus um, and that it's not just because you can eat them and that they taste uh, good and that they're expensive in the store and you can grow them in your house cheaper, but there's there's something else about uh, fungus and, and seeing something growing in, in your um, house that it's kind of like a, a weird Frankenstein garden. You're having to breathe life into uh, these empty jars of coffee grounds and at least from my experience when whenever I see a mushroom outside after growing them indoors I, I appreciate it a little bit more to know um, all the, the work that nature has done. I think that uh, expanding mushroom cultivation just on kind of like a like a local scale, it just has benefits all the way around. Any way you empower people to grow their own food is going to um, lead towards the same way agriculture. I grow um, oyster mushrooms and I actually just started shiitake today. I mainly do it in um, mason jars and old um, plastic bottles uh, using um, I mainly use right now toilet paper. It's fun to see a roll of toilet paper go um, from like full size to half its size. And you're like, well, where did all that mass go? And it's, it's in the mushroom and then you eat it and you're like, am I eating toilet paper? People I share my kitchen with, I don't think are very happy with me because about half the fridge is filled with uh, mushroom spawn. <laughs> but, uh, and I think that I think they think something's a little bit wrong with me when they walk in the kitchen and see me boiling toilet paper rolls. We initially were trying to get a mushroom garden uh, started in the Lakeshore Preserve, uh, but there was a lot of red tape and um, a lot of regulations. The way it stands right now is we would clear out the underbrush of an area forest and then we would get Norwegian maple logs from the preserve 
um, and inoculate these with oyster and shiitake um, plugs and then just lay them out there in the shade of the forest and let them grow. I really hope that um, we just um, make a, a lasting community of um, mushroom enthusiasts.